Hey sports fans, Christian Pedersen here to tell you all about how the El Camino girls water polo team won themselves their first CIF championship in school history. It would be a come from behind win against Westview where goals were at an absolute premium. Show you one though from Sydney Dickinson that is the definition of clutch. How about a buzzer beater in the championships? That one pulls it even. We head to the second half. We're gonna see Mia Barr put El Camino on top and that's where they would stay for the rest of the night. Watch Barr with the deep shot on the give and go. The score! Wildcats on top and they would stay on top courtesy of some great goaltending by Julia Miller. Get this, not one second half goal allowed the entire postseason. That was one of the big saves. Take you to the last 12 seconds of the game and watch how it all plays out. Fitting that this one would come to an end with the ball in the goalkeeper's hand. Everyone finally realizes it, that they're champions. Celebration ensues. Let's hear from Miller. A CIF champion from El Camino. This is their goalie, Julia. Let's go through your mind right now. I don't even know. I don't have words. It's unbelievable that we won. Like, I knew we could do it, but it's just, it's insane to, it's, we're the first El Camino team to win a girls water polo title. So it's, it's just crazy. So a little bit of school history. Yeah. That you literally finished out. The last minute was basically nonstop shots of the goal. You catch it to finish it. Go ahead, put the ring season up. You guys can all get the back. Like that last 30 seconds of the game, I feel like that's every goalkeeper's nightmare oh, yeah. to have the ball just keep shooting at you. When you finally caught that one, did, is that oh, one of the emotions yeah. yet? I was just like, oh my god, like don't come at me because I didn't want them to swim at me and try to score a goal. But I like, as I said, like I knew we could do it, and I like I had faith in my team to help me have my back. So. I, it's just insane. So it's still kind of soaking in yeah. a little bit. This is something though that a lot of people will say like this is longer than just we've been working for, since the beginning of the yeah. season. This has oh, been yeah. basically my entire time in yeah, high school. Definitely. So talk about all the hard work that it took to get here. Um, well last year we had Quinny Purcell who graduated and went to Harvard to play so a lot of people thought that like losing her was gonna change everything. They were like oh they're not gonna be as good this year but I think we, yeah, <laughs> I think we really just like stepped up and played as a team and and obviously won a championship, so. Well, congratulations to you and all your hard work on upsetting some people along the way. Don't know which one I'm allowed to call the upset of the week or not, but we will let you go get your ring, your banner, and everything, Thank and you. continue Thank the you. domination for El Camino this year. Thank you. Thank you very